Hello, hello. Today, I wanted just to show you, as I promised you, how I'm working on the decorated violin I'm making here. And uh, so it becomes very dark now. And um, I just signed here now the last decorations of my um, of my scroll here. My nephew made me these templates of the design, which is actually very nice. It's a little bit uh, doesn't work so pretty, but it's it's exactly like here on the original, the Helier 1679. And then I signed it with a pencil and there was a little bit of fantasy and comparing with every time with the original, I can exactly um, make this design and I'm pretty at a good point here with the scroll. And then all this is carved in and then you can compare it here with the original. And certainly it's my um, interpretation. But when you just look quick, it's all the same and it's decorated and all this and you could might say, ah, it's kitsch and I don't like it. But at the time you sit down and you make it yourself as a violin maker, I just, I, I can tell you Stradivari was really good. These tiny flowers which just have a three-dimensional uh, appearing and I'm trying to imitate it, but you can tell that Stradivari Actually, that was his work and he was doing this kind of work here, this uh, carving, Intarsiatore, and at the time he was doing that, here in Cremona, Amati signed, uh, consigned white instruments and then they made this um, carving, okay? Usually those instruments with these decorations were made for the court and uh, so Stradivari, in the beginning, slowly, slowly, in his free time probably, made the first instrument. So there are some statistics about the Stradivaries he made. And you can see that slowly, slowly, he increased the quantities of instruments. He didn't have such great lamps like me. He didn't have two glasses. They had already glasses, okay? I just, I don't know how they realized to make these um, decorations without the comfort we have and they made it much better than... Uh, but it could also be that at 40 years, slowly, slowly, he couldn't see that great anymore and he quit it with, with the decorations and he made more instruments. Could be, who knows? This would be my explanations, but these decorations are really fancy. So you need also a little bit of fantasy. And then Strat didn't have the Bosch drill here, which I do. And then by looking at it, I just decide what kind of drill I'm going to use. And then we have to make a smaller one. these three holes here I made it them already tick, tick, tick. and then starts the flower and then we go down all the way and you still have to do here a little bit hmm? so now I always have to see a little bit what is what it's a little bit difficult to show you what I have to do here. Another hole, a smaller one.
so you can see it is a pretty tiny and patient's work because here the scroll is a little bit in its way so you cannot cut straight through it but you can make it hmm. sharpen a little bit here Here we have a few pieces which we still have to make and then we're done, one here and one here and then we put some ebony dust with glue which I have already prepared. So now we have more or less finished here. It seems something that I missed something. Hold on. Here there's one part missing. Oop. We can clean all the holes otherwise with the ebony dust it becomes a, with a white spot we don't want that da, 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 da. very good now that we have finished all this on both sides and everywhere here there's one more part here By the time you will see this video, the violin will probably already be in the hands of your of, of the customer. But I just wanted to show you, since I promised you last video, how that works. And and these here are the ribs, right? 
and they look like this now, okay? So then I take a file, and then slowly, slowly by filing, comes out all these designs, just like on the original, right? So, now I'm going to put on some, I don't know how you call it, um, ebony dust um, with glue, which I prepared already, and I put it into a syringe, which is very comfort comfortable, and I hope it is going to, yes, um, and so now I go and put it in here, like this, it's shrinking a little bit, so I prefer to put a little bit more. And I treated the wood already in order that the black ink doesn't soak too much into this wood next to it, yeah. Now it's very nice to look at what I'm doing, since it is very nice to put it on, but it's less nice to take it off. Uh, this is something I know already, um, and it is definitely more time consuming to take, take it off than putting it up, but I just wanted to take you with me on this nice journey and um, so we make additional video where I take off a little bit and so you see how this looks like when I take it off right but for now I think this is a, a nice video it took me about yeah I would say three days to make the scroll here yeah, maybe a little bit more with this profiling in the middle yeah it probably took me more days altogether carving the scroll pack box everything a week something like this 
Yeah, just so you have an idea and only the carving about two or three days. This one, the, the, the ebony dust with glue, I let it dry at least four hours and then I take it off. It seems like that the quantity I prepared for the entire instrument were like two of these ones, two five millimeters or ten m ml of, 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 of this. So I would say next video I show you how I take it off, okay? Not on the scroll but maybe on the ribs so you have to see also another part. Maybe I have taken off this one already. Hmm? Bye bye!